away this past weekend in the jacuzzi. They say they found him unconscious. Uh, I mean, you know, a lot of people are saying that he was battling, battling addiction, but other people were saying that when they found him there, there were no, there was no drugs around. But I mean, looking at this picture right Man, here, how, how'd you have to ruin Halloween right away? I love friends. I love Matthew Perry. This was a, a hurt blow. I didn't expect to see this. I know he had been battling addiction for years. For real? And, he had alcohol, um, alcohol addiction? Well, yeah. I mean, because you could literally tell in the um, friend's season sometimes, like, his weight fluctuated. Excuse me. And then uh, I think he said in his book that if he was a little bit chubby, mm -hmm. he was uh, basically abusing alcohol. If he was real skinny, uh, that he was on pills. And then I think there was one other form. He had many forms like Frieza, but it, it, then he was on something else. But basically he was saying how all the different things that he would turn to that he couldn't stay away from addiction. If he got off one thing, he would just get on to another. He even said so bad. I saw him in an interview that he was said he would go to open houses and acting like he was going to buy homes. Mm -hmm. You know, Mr. Chandler being Mr. Matthew Perry, big money. Instead, what he was going is into people's medicine cabinets in uh stealing prescription uh drugs like biking and stuff what yeah or if you got caught doing that that's well i think he said he goes most people probably never said anything because there's like there's no way that matthew perry's stealing my my <laughs> drugs from my medicine cabinet i mean this is the famous guy from friends he literally said that he was like no one would even suspect this me they would assume it was somebody else i believe him I believe so he used that as cover it's truly sad you know you, you hopefully you hope the best for all people with addiction I thought he gotten past this and he had wrote a book and said actually the greatest thing that he wanted to be remembered for was for helping other people through their addiction. So it's very strange that he was found unresponsive and basically drowned in his hot tub. Um, they said that they didn't find any illegal stuff, but that he did have prescription drugs. So I wonder what he was prescribed and if uh, something like that went to his demise. Um, well, we I don't know what freak accent. We're going to have updates. If there's a crazy update, we'll definitely let you know. Facts. And we got a video right here to talk more about the situation. And then we're going to, you know, give our final talks about it and chime in too. Dead in Atlanta. Oh, a hot tub at his home in Los Angeles on Saturday. A law enforcement source tells CNN there is no foul play suspected. Perry's death is under investigation. Now, Perry landed several high-profile TV roles in movies, uh, in movies and TV shows like Beverly Hills 90210 throughout his career. But it was his unforgettable role as Chandler Bing that made him a household name. The creators of Friends released a statement saying, "Quote: He was always the funniest person in the room. More than that, he was the sweetest with a giving and selfless heart." Joining us now from Kansas City, Missouri, where she's been appearing in Always a Bridesmaid at the New Theater is actress Morgan Fairchild, who you just saw played Matthew Perry's TV mom and friends. Um, thanks so much for joining us. There's an unlimited number of clips uh, that you want to show and you want to laugh at and you want to be a part of. But I, I want to start with how will you remember? You said you were heartbroken. How will you remember working with Matthew? You know, I, I just always remember Matthew as from the first day on the set. And um, it, the show was not a huge hit yet when I started working on it. And he came bounding over to me, and I literally bounding like a big puppy, and said, oh, you won't remember me, but I used to visit you on the set of Flamingo Road and Falcon Crest with my dad. And I said, oh, who is your dad? He said, John Bennett Perry. I said, oh my God, you're that little kid. <laughs> he was like, oh, okay. And so right from the first, uh, there was just, it's just a sad, sad... Yeah, I remember her being on the show, uh, Miss Fairchild. And this is just a sad, sad thing. I mean, all his friends, everybody from the cast is, uh, I mean, basically responding and saying this is a sad, sad moment. They were uh, rooting for him. I've seen other people saying, like, they, they thought that this is going to be, like, his triumphant story. Like, he, you know, he overcame this whole alcoholism thing. And, I mean, just to, for this to, just to happen to him, hopefully the autopsy comes back and there's not, like, any any bad substances or anything like that, but... I mean, I it, hope so. I mean, it's such a shame. I thought he had beat this. He had written books, and he mm -hmm. had even... Uh, I think he had a Malibu home. He even helped that, a friend. That he uh, had turned into, like, a uh, rehab facility, basically. Mm -hmm. I thought... I think it was called, like, Perry's Home or something like that, that he had dedicated all kinds of funds, the land and the house to help people get past their addictions. And uh, it's a shame that it looks like he didn't end up beating his. Um, 
you know, uh, that's what it looks like at this moment. Hopefully we find out more. And he was young. Like he was like 52, 54. I think he was 54. Yeah. Which is uh, super young. Um, these days, you know, most people are living a lot longer than that. So it was really unexpected. Uh, we didn't expect him to go out like this. And they said it actually a week ago, uh, from, uh, when he passed a week before that he had taken a picture of him in his hot tub saying, you know, I'm watching the city. And I think he has like the bat signal in like lights in his backyard. Mm. So it's kind of, you know, weird that, you know, a week later he ends up passing away in the same spot. Yeah, our condolences go out and go out to uh, Matthew Perry, man. Comment below your favorite Friends episode. Uh, do you remember what, what's one of your favorite Friends episode? Mm, oh, I think my, one of my favorite ones is when uh, I think it was Chandler and Joey, who Matthew Perry plays. He plays Chandler, mm -hmm. uh, where they actually beat the girls. I think they beat Monica and um, Rachel in a like. Uh, a friends like quiz competition so they lost so they had mm -hmm. to switch apartments because you know one had the bigger apartment than the other but they had yeah so they had to switch apartments and that was like pretty funny because like the one um question that they lost on was they're like what does a chandler do for a living and they're like we don't pay attention to what chandler <laughs> does. no one knew what chandler did for a living and then uh, rachel goes he's a trans trans monster He's a trans monster. And they're like, what is that? <laughs> but they got it wrong so that they Maybe lost that. their apartment. It was pretty, a lot of classic moments. But even if you go back and watch the old seasons, mm -hmm. you can see what he was saying in his book that like, or he was skinny when his he was like changing. thicker. And like his weight went like really down to where he looked like sickly to like really up or where he was overweight. So it was crazy. He was, he was everywhere and in between, like from one season to the next. And he said, that he was so far off of, uh, you know, basically being off the drugs mm -hmm. that he doesn't even remember two full seasons of Friends. Damn. That, like, he, he doesn't that remember black. doing that. He was, like, basically that blacked out going to work. That's a good life. And, and some people suspected that when they did the Friends special, I uh -huh. think it was a year or two ago on HBO when they did the reunion, that, uh, and then he did interviews, and they were, like, on Entertainment Tonight. That like he was kind of like slurring his uh, his speech and stuff, so they wondered if he had like gotten back on anything or what the deal was. So I don't know. So he was on alcohol and on and on. He and would on switch, man. He would get off the nose candy. He would get on pills. He's on everything. He would get off the pills. He would He's get it. He, would, he would get on alcohol. Like he just kept on rotating his vices. Mm. Was he married? Had any kids? Do you know? You know, I don't know if it's off the top of my head. If you're watching this on Tales from the Crypt podcast or on TFTC Clips, put it down in the comments if section the below. Case, and if you remember, if you're watching this on TFTC Clips, you're only getting 720p. You got to go over to Tales from the Crypt. We even timestamp it now so you could go to your favorite topics and you can watch this in full 1080p on Tales from the Crypt. Exactly, but enough about this topics, man. Our prayers and condolences. It's never but... enough. We love Matthew Perry for life. Forever for life. One of my favorite movies that he did is one Fools Rush In with Selma Hayek. Mm -hmm. And he's like a, uh, I think he's a white, he plays a white dude that uh, moves to Las Vegas and he gets Selma Hayek uh, pregnant after a one night stand. So it's like him like learning like how to uh, like uh, integrate himself into a Hispanic family. And so it's funny, like the, they get all like the family come over to paint the house and they paint the the house all like pastel colors. And then they like, they get him a chihuahua. That's that's racist. It's, it's, you know, maybe considered semi-racist nowadays, but back then when fools rush in, uh, I think they were in New Mexico. Is mm -hmm. that, that's where they were at? I forget. I forget all the details of the movie. It's been some time, but that was an epic movie back in the day. And it was really I didn't funny. check that out. Any other, any other Matthew Perry movies? No, that's probably my favorite one. I can't think of any other ones on the spot. Let me know any other any of your favorite Matthew Perry movies. What I think it was mainly on TV. I think he had another show that was mildly successful, and then he only did a couple a hand. Uh, yes, 